Good afternoon, everybody. James here. Today we're going to be doing a deal stream. Of course, you know I'm here. I'm here. Uh, hopefully everybody's having a good day thus far. I'm waiting for chat to load up and all the other cool stuff. Uh, so we're going to be doing a cool couple of little things. I do have a couple of unboxings at the beginning of the show and some other cool stuff like that. So hopefully everybody rolls in and stuff like that. Ignore the cut on my head. I'm not sure how I got these, but hey, whatever. We're going to go with that one. <laughs> Uh, still waiting for chat to load. Hey, Omec, how you doing? I'm uh, not sure why my chat is not loading today. Load, load chat, load. Uh, we do have a little light in the background. We have some stuff going on around here, but hey, hey it's, all good. it's all good. How's everybody doing? Uh, yeah, why, why do we not have? We love, oh, there's my chatty, there's my picture. All right, so chat might load up soon. Still, still waiting for chat here. Uh, hey, whatever. We're going to go with that. Guys, first product up is from One Audio. This is a very cool little piece, guys. One Audio sent these uh, to me. This is their A10 hybrid active noise canceling headphones. Uh, these are a wireless over the ear Bluetooth style headphones with high res audio sound. Now they do claim they have deep bass and we'll get to that at some point. Uh, 45 hours of battery life while playing with these. Uh, wireless and wired, uh, it's a two in one ideal guys for that. Uh, you can use them wired or wireless, which is actually really, really cool. Uh, ideal for pretty much any sitting that you want. Inside here guys is a very cool little piece. Uh, we're going to pull them out, kind of show you guys this and everything else with that. Uh, we're going to pop open the case, of course, right here. Uh, we have the little lid. We'll set the lid aside. Hopefully, I don't hit my power button. Now, this actually surprises me. I was not expecting this from the set uh, right here, and that is actually a hard shell case with their logo. I like that. That's cool. Now, inside here, you're going to see the headset, of course, and everything else. Uh, there's your user manual. The user manual will tell you if you can connect it up to iOS, PC, or anything else. Uh, you'll be then greeted with the first bag. The first bag, of course, is going to be your 3.5 to 3.5 jack to connect it up to your phones, your TVs, your, you know, whatever has a 3.5, your PCs. Then you'll have your USB to USB-C charging cable uh, right there. Now, with that, we have the headset. The headset itself actually beautifully wrapped up i like this i already like this foldable guys they do fold up that's pretty cool clickly like that just like that nice little oval style of earmuffs uh right here now these are 40 millimeter uh dynamic drivers guys so you do have that they are leatherette style of muffs uh, i does have the little band on it which is cool and nice padding fully adjustable now let's test it out real quick set my hat aside See how it feels. Wow. Comfy. Now, the cool part is, you guys see this? I have this on just like this to test it out. But the one thing I did not point out here is I still have an earbud in my ear. And I, this is cool. I like this. Very comfy. Very, very, very comfy, guys. Cool. I like that. That is amazing. Now, this is back in coloration uh but the ear or the ear if you guys notice this is a little offset color all uh, right there's gonna be a charging port uh over here is also gonna be your power button to turn it on with that now the other side is gonna be your volumes up and down 3.5 and your connections guys this is a cool piece nice little ear headsets from one audio of course they are completely foldable so you can fold them up put them back in the uh carrier Set the carrier closed, zip the carrier up, and you're good to go. Uh, cool little piece. Uh, if you guys are looking for some headsets, the One Audio A10s might be the one for you. Uh, hey, Darren. Hey, Warwick. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up, man? Look at that. I'm here. That's right. I'm here. Uh, we'll be getting full testing in these at some point, guys. But the One Audio Focus A10s. Active noise canceling. Uh, something that I didn't mention with that is it actually can do, I believe it's like 675 songs on a charge. Hey, Robin. 
So if you guys are looking, maybe that's what you're looking for. I don't know. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh. You guys notice all the cuts all over my face? Uh-huh. Cut nose, cut eye. Yeah. It's been a rough week. <laughs> All right, guys, we have another set of headphones here for you guys. These are actually from One Audio also. These are their 50 millimeter drivers. These are what's called the Studio 30s. Uh, these are 30 Studios DJ headphone style. These are a wired stock type, guys. Uh, these are 50 millimeter drivers, of course, guys. Uh, Going to get into cool couple things, guys. It does come with 3.5 millimeter jack and also comes with the 6.35 millimeter jack. Comes with both cables. Inside here, you're going to be greeted with the headset. The headset is, of course, like I said, 50 millimeter drivers. So you have that nice driver piece. But inside here, you'll be with the cables. This is where it's cool. Now, I've done uh, quite a few of their headsets, but I have not seen any. I have not tested any with that brown coloration. That's right. It's got a tan brown coloration. Now, this is your 6.35 to 3.5 cable. All right, so that's your DJ style where you can plug into your uh, all the other cool stuff like your, your keyboards and guitars and stuff like that. Then you have your 3.5 to 3.5 right here. This one actually has a microphone on it, so you're good there also. You then have this nice little carrying bag. I wish it was a hard shell like the other one, but this is a carrying bag with the cinch ties. Uh, so no problems with that at all. Now we're going to pull this open. We're going to ignore all your comments because it's just that. They're comments, and I attacked myself in my sleep, all right? <laughs> just go in there. Uh, so inside here, guys, you have these very, very cool brown and gray headsets that are fully swivelable. But look at the size of the padding on those earmuffs. Dude, I'm telling you guys. Nice thick padding on top, their logo, their branding, their stitching. Uh, then you have your 3.5 plug over here. Then you have your other 6.35 to 3.5, uh, or you can go the other way around. What that allows you to is, is you can monitor dual things. That means you can listen to one side while listening to music or uh, what you're going to play next. The other side can be connected up to, let's say, your guitar your DJ set, your mixing table, whatever you want. It'll allow for that with that. Now, super thick, super luxurious. And of course, oh, it's like having clouds on your head. Guys, these things are so comfy. It's crazy. Now, again, I have an earbud in my ear. You would think that would be very, very annoying, but I'm telling you, it's comfy. I don't mind that. Guys, these are beautiful. I like the coloration. This is actually really cool coloration. Uh, no, no, no. I was not attacked by a cat. Um, I, I have problems, all right? We'll, we'll go there. I tend to attack myself while sleeping. I woke up with these scratches. I don't know. I literally woke up with them. It's not the first time it's happened, and I'm sure it's not the last time it'll happen. So guys, if you guys need some headsets, one audio's got you covered. I, I will be getting into full testing with those though at some point. Then those are good deals, guys. Like uh, this set's only $35 for this one, and the other set was like $67 for 50 hours of playtime. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Hi, Robin. Is your wife safe? Ah, uh, I half of the time I don't sleep in bed. Um, let's be honest. Half of the time I'm I'm on the couch sleeping. No, I just need to cut my nails. <laughs> I actually, what happened was, is I fell asleep with my watch on last night. So I think moving around, I hit myself with my watch. Uh, which is quite possible. Uh, rolling around, I I I'm very anxious when I sleep. So sometimes uh, it's okay, sometimes it's not. 
Things happen. Things happen, guys. I want you to know, though, and I'm going to show and tell why I was not on this morning. Guys, remember the big hole in my ceiling? <laughs> the big hole in the ceiling's been patched with a whole uh, piece of uh, something or another. Uh, but now they say they're coming back next Thursday to finish it. Yeah. Pain in mind. That's what I'm saying. What is everybody doing? How's everybody day going? All the other cool stuff. I think fun. I got a video. James here, and today we're taking a look at the Eufy G40 guy. Plus Robo Vacuum. Uh, guys, this has the Robo Vacuum, has some brushing bristles. These actually connect to the bottom of the Robo Vacuum. It does come with an extra HEPA filter. This HEPA filter needs to be changed in this product every so often. Now the cool part is, is it does come with this actual auto dumping system with its own trash bin. Now I'm going to move the right. robo vacuum for a second. Uh, under here guys you do get this nice little plastic tray. This plastic tray is meant to go on the carpet so it actually has a landing base. Uh, this is your actual canister piece. Now first I'm going to pop it around show you guys the back of this. Now the back is where you'll actually back. plug in your power plug. Uh, right here is where you'll plug your power plug in. I don't have that out here because we're just showing you guys this. In here guys you have another HEPA filter. This HEPA filter can actually be changed also. It just needs to be removed from the canister. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just like that. I turn the heat off guys or replaced. Or uh, if you want. Now this is to help with keeping the particulates of the vacuuming system in this since it does have a system. Now on top you have this tray. The tray does come open. It actually has an indications of how you use it. Uh, it does come with two bags. These bags are what your dirt and particulates will go in. This is your second bag. This is the area that's going to store all the dirt. To actually do this you'll just pop this little piece and slide up the bag itself and then replace it. Simple. Lock it back in place and you're on the go. Now on the front of this, like this is said. the metal charging prongs. When these prongs hit it will actually automatically start sucking and dumping all the dust out of the vacuum. While it's doing that it will start indicating the actual charge time which is quite cool. Now with this guys, you do get the Eufy app. The Eufy app will allow you to map out the house. It will also allow you to plan where you want it to vacuum or where you don't want it to vacuum. That's cool. Uh, it is a wireless device. Now down here you do have these nice big old uh, feet or wheels. These wheels can actually do a nice 5 degree uh, path. So if you have a 5 degree hill or slant in the place it will roll up that. Anything higher it may not go. What? You do have the bristles right here and the actual piece. Now on the back is the canister. Now you can take this canister off. If you want to manually empty it yourself you can do that. So with this, guys, you get a 2500 PA strong suction, the Wi-Fi connectability, the planned pathfinding, ultra slim design, and the RoboVac the self uh, empties uh, for 60 days at a time. What more could you want? It's a great option, guys, plus double HEPA filters in several places. Guys, this thing is a beautiful, beautiful vacuum that is actually a really good price. I mean, honestly, that's a good deal, $279. Really, really good deal. Now we're going to pop over. We're going to show you guys the X8 version right here that Nate did. What? Yeah, that's right. Hey, X8. what is going on, guys? I'm Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Eufy X8 Hybrid Vacuum Mop from Anchor. This is an absolute beast of a robotic mop vacuum combo. So let's go ahead and jump in and see everything that it does. Inside of the box, there are quite a few things, so let's go ahead and make sure that you know everything in it. You're going to get an instruction manual, the mop attachment, There's as things well as in some there. replacement pads. You heard them. And then you are going to get another filter that you need to make sure you get installed. So once that's installed, you should be good to go. You're also going to get some zip ties to clean up the floor. You're going to get the charging base itself, and then you are going to get the charging cable that is used with the charging base. And then, of course, you are going to get the vacuum itself right there. And taking a closer look at the vacuum itself, you guys can see right here, it's got a very simple 
but also very modern design on the top right here you have that eufy logo you have that really nice copper branding all the way around it on the front up here at the top of the system you have all of your controls you have the carbon fiber look flipping it over to the back the side of this you guys fiber. can see everything right here is really well made so your bristle attachment right here actually has this really nice rubber attachment around the bristles and these are basically going to help with rigidity and just having these bristles last a longer time then you can see in the suction portion right here you have your normal carpet bristles but you also have the purple right there which is for the mopping feature and speaking of the mopping feature this is where the mop attachment goes so getting that installed is very simple which we will show you guys how to do just here in a little bit so you guys well, can also doesn't. see that on the bottom of the vacuum that you have these two tires with these lifting mechanisms and that's basically going to help this robot vac go between carpet and hardwood without any issues right there so everything is very well made on that but let's go ahead and show you guys how to get this thing up and running so we can get your home clean in no time so the first thing you want to do to get this set up is download the eufy home app once that's launched go ahead and type in add device and you're going to select robot vacuums continuing on you're obviously going to select x8 hybrid and now you'll see that it will pop up because we did turn on the vacuum it automatically enables bluetooth if it's not already paired and then you are going to type in your Wi-Fi network name and password. And then once you have that paired to Wi-Fi, you guys will see right here that it gives you a little bit of instruction on how to place the charging base. Just telling you a notice to basically pick up before this thing goes out in vacuums. And then it also gives you some information on how this thing will create a map. Now you are inside of the app and you guys can see right here we have a ton of features up there at the top. Yeah, just like the other robot, this is the VAC. You will use the same app, which is really cool. Both of these use this. Now, you'll also have the adjustments of the power level where you can pick it yourself or it'll automatically do it itself also. Now, again, guys, this one is actually very cool. This is 2000 PA times 2 suction, uh, AI mapping, uh, the 2.0 with Wi-Fi. This is cool. It's a hybrid, so it does mop also. And now with the mopping, it is also super slim. It can pretty much fit anywhere. Uh, which is really, really cool. Now, the twin turbines means it'll suck up more stuff. Now, it can auto-detect if it's on carpet or hard wood, which is really cool also. Now, inside the app, it'll actually tell you if the uh, devices need to be changed out and when it needs to be changed out uh, with that. Now, setting up the mop is very simple. It does puts a little bit of water in there. It doesn't take a whole lot of liquid. Uh, then you have the base here. The base will is where it will charge and go back home to charge when it's done vacuuming. Now, you will have to empty out the dirt of this one, though, uh, if you're looking for that. But this one also does the mopping technology, uh, which still isn't that bad. And as you can see, he's letting it roll around and bounce around and move around his house and vacuum. Of course, he's got hardwood and a kitty cat that wants to chase it and play. Uh, you're going to see the cat again in a second. He's going to come around the other side and try to attack the robot right here. Uh, there, of course, is Ninja himself. Uh, there's the cat right there. He's like, ooh, it's a rat. It's a rat. Uh, if you guys need, maybe that is the vacuum for you. Uh, two little options for you, both by Yuffie. Now we're going to be moving over to the FOPO. The FOPO 13.3-inch triple monitor stand. Uh, of course, the 13 inch is the one on sale. We're showing you guys this. This is the FOPO 12-inch triple portable monitor. Now, it's actually two monitors that makes you have three monitors by, by combining with your laptop. So here's the box for it. So it basically turns your single laptop screen into three screens by giving you a left Threes. and a right screen Count them. on Threes. top of your central laptop screen, giving you a lot more workspace. I really like the packaging presentation and the fact that they have the instructions on the fact that it uses the USB-C for video. It's got HDMI, display port, mini display port, hey, Brenda. mini DVI, VGA, and of course, it's got the power. A lot of options on here. It also takes external power as well. It's not that heavy. So this is 1080p. It can only have 1080p on the two screens on here. So even if your main primary screen is 4K, the secondary screens on this are only 1080p. But, but, and but again, I have an Asus, Asus ROG Strix gaming laptop, and I will be testing this with that. It comes with all the cables you need at the bottom underneath that case, which is really, really nice there. Get on. And Get on. this is how it looks. It's, I've, I'm not, I've seen these all over the place, but I've never had a chance to use them. Coloration's off of my camera in here today. 
very, very There's exciting. like light glowing. Oh, look at that. There's no blackout. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. So, looking at how it looks here, you can see this back here adjusts to different size laptops. So this slides over your laptop on the back here. You see it's got the clasps on the top, which will kind of go over the back of the laptop and kind of like clasp on the screen. And it kind of sits on the back of your laptop uh, monitor. And then these are the screens. I'm not going to take the I'm not going to take the protective um, plastic off yet because I want to actually set this up before I do that. So I'm just showing you kind of how it looks. But yeah, these winged screens will go on the side and three three screens. Three. So if you're looking for a triple monitor setup for your laptop, maybe this is a good version. This is the Foco 1080p FHD IPS 13.3 inch setup. Uh, which is quite cool. And as you guys see, it comes with all of the actual pieces that you need, uh, all the cabling, everything for this. Now, it's just going to power up from your laptop, so you don't have to worry about that. It doesn't take a lot of power, uh, but a cool little option to add on to there with that. Now, of course, we now have a projector for you. Now, this is what Nate did. This is Anchor Nebula Solar Outdoor Projector. Hmm. Is this, thing, is this on? With his weird Oh, intro. okay. It's, it's recording? Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Sorry, Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Just talking to my friends that are really... They're actually here, I promise. There's friends right behind there. They're just being quiet. We're going to take a look at this Anchor Nebula Solo Projector. I've tested a ton of Anchor projectors in the past, so we're just going to jump in and take a look at this Anchor Nebula Solar. So you guys can see that right here, this is a very simple design. There's not a lot to it. Up on the top, you're going to have your Nebula branding as well as some controls in case you lose your remote. On the bottom, it's going to have the anti-movement pads right down here, the nice rubber. You can see that you also have your quarter inch thread, so this can be installed on a tripod if you want to set it up that way. If we take a look at the back, you're going to notice you have your power button, a USB port. You're going to have your power port and an HDMI port as well, which is really nice. So not only are you going to be able to get all of your apps that are installed on this because this runs off of Android OS, you're going to also be able to use your PlayStation 5, Xbox One, really whatever it is that has HDMI output and use it with this. Now you are also obviously going to get a remote with it. On the remote, it's very simple. You are going to have your power button, auto focus button, your Google Assistant so you can talk with this and load up your favorite apps, search news, search sports, whatever it is. You're going to have your selector wheels. You're going to have some other options such as your home button and then your volume button as well. So the Nebula Solar from Anchor is going to come in at 1080p with a 400 ANSI lumen brightness. So you're definitely going to have all the brightness you need. And you're also going to have that crystal clear 1080p HD picture. But I can talk about specs. I can talk about this and that all day. It doesn't matter if it doesn't look good. So let's go ahead and plug it in. We'll test it out. All right, my friends, so we've yeah, got the them. solar hooked up. We have it on my projection plug it in, screen. Test it you out. guys can see just initial impressions whenever I first plug this in is how bright and how vibrant all of the colors are. So now we are in the settings, oh, wait, which you're going there's to have a more. ton of different options for settings right in here. If we look, you guys can see if we go in, incredible, all of the Let's darts are true to We're tone, the out colors the pop, and it's just very bright and very nice. Since it is full on Android, guys, you have all the apps on hand that you could ever really want. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, Prime, whatever you need. It's there. A great little option for a nice little projector, guys, and actually not a bad price at $447 today. Now we're going to be popping over. We're going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about it. Well, Games here, too. We'll little video plays. Because I actually did this. Now, this is a cool, cool piece. This is the B-Link Sear 5 Mini PC. Now, this is a Ryzen 5 5560U processor that does 4 gigahertz of power. Now, this is also an AMD Radeon uh, GPU with that in also, which is kind of cool, too. Uh, just a cool piece. Now, this is an 8 mega catch, 6 core, 12 thread CPU, uh, which is beautiful. Then you have the AMD, the, uh, not the AMD, yeah, AMD Radeon graphics, 6 core, 1600 megahertz. Then it has an M.2, 2280 NVMe SSD, uh, 500 gigabytes, but you can go up to 2 terabytes if you want. Then you have the DDR4, which is 3200 megahertz. It is a so dim, but you can go up to 64 gigabytes if you want. Now, this will do triple display, uh, so you can do triple display with that. Hello, Victoria Diaz. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, then you have Wi-Fi 6E. Then you have Bluetooth 5.2. Uh, it's just all in there to do very, very, very well of a PC. 
best part is it's just that it's a mini PC that you can pretty much connect to the back of a TV, a monitor or anywhere else. And it works fundamentally very, very well. But it's it's expandable, guys. So you can expand the RAM, you can expand the storage, you can expand it all. Then you have the triple displays. You have two HDMI uh, connectors and one USB-C connection that will allow for you to connect up three monitors with this little mini PC. It does have an RJ45 if you need that also. What's up, guys? How you doing, Chucky? What's up, everybody? Nice to see you guys over there, over there, over there, over there. Uh, cool little mini piece. I mean, just look at that, guys. And this thing literally will take you about 10 seconds, maybe a minute, to get the four screws off to open the case back up on the bottom so you can take out the M.2, so you can take out the RAM, so you can take out, you know, whatever, and upgrade, which is cool. Uh, you do have multiple USB ports. You have a single USB. You also have the dual HDMIs on the back. Uh, and then you have a couple more USBs on the back also. Dude, this is a beautiful little mini PC. And Nate's got one that he's using as a backup now too. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm, fi I'm fighting a head cold right there with you. So yesterday you guys noticed me coughing and stuff. It's definitely a head cold. Uh, so I'm definitely fighting a slight cough and a head cold from it, but whatever. I'm right there with you. Mama3, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, if you guys need a mini PC, maybe that's one for you. Now we got the Aerofoil Portable Laser. All right, so the first thing I did is I went right. and installed the laser. The laser. Uh, G lasers, G guys. We're going to guard sharks with lasers. The website as well, itself. Got everything hooked up to my <laughs> computer. The driver's pre-installed, which is great. Now I'm going to work on getting my first... Don't mind all the scratches, there. though, guys. But I just went always, to war with myself while laser, I was sleeping. Please wear some sort of eye protection. I have using these included glasses. Oh, whoa, whoa. And eye protection? Everything's hooked up. Now I just need to hit the focus button on this software. And that should fire the laser. And now I'm looking for the smallest possible point to narrow this down to. Yeah. So we'll just keep drinking the water. It's pretty big there. And this is kind of where the art comes in, more so than the science of it. So that should be good there. There's science. Go ahead and stop that. And for my first file. Weird I went science. Ahead and set it for the whole board. Just because I have it, why not? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get this set up. And yeah, they're really cool. So there, we've Wait, done a few options of these. I the one thing I do recommend is is make sure you have the space and you have the uh yeah, what's that word I'm looking for? Uh, like the airspace. So it does put off fumes because it is actually burning into the object. So make sure you're in a ventilated area. Maybe you have a garage or something, or maybe you could put it near a window that it can actually exhaust outwards uh, because it's just that. It's a laser burning into whatever you're putting it on. Uh, it's very cool. It's, you could laser onto wood, metals, uh, pretty much anything, leathers. Uh, it all works, and they're really, really cool. Now, of course, you're going to notice this first, uh, his first try on here, the parts of the actual logo that he does or the checkered board picture he does. It's a little dark. Now, you can readjust that on, uh, as you go and learn because sometimes you may have the settings just a little too hot for it and it may look a little dark. Now, I'm going to jump forward to where we're actually burning this in and you guys will see this right here. It's going to just start etching into the wood and you'll see the fumes uh, glowing on the, Actual blue uh, blue lighting, you'll see right there, there's your fumes. So it does throw off smoke. So if you're in an apartment, make sure it's, you know, you got the airflow. Uh, if you're in a garage, you know, same thing. Uh, but right there, guys, you'll see that it actually does a really good job. It's just first time test. I don't know, but you will see. And I think that is absolutely my fault for not getting the proper focusing in. See? 
Additionally, this is a lot darker than I was expecting, which again is my novice hand not knowing how powerful to make the uh, laser. But you can see the parts that did come out came out with really high detail, despite my uh, less than stellar efforts. And he seems it. The uh, it worked out pretty good, and best part is I didn't. Uh, Cool thing is, guys, this would be really cool. You can make your own key change. You can make your own Christmas ornaments with this. Uh, you could etch your logos into, like, leather wallets maybe you're making or, like, a leather jacket or anything like that. It could be done with that. And that's the cool part. I really like it. And that's, of course, it's actually a decent price, like $249 for this one. Actually, really cool piece. Yeah, we got, I believe this is the real Link E1. Hey guys, Nikita with Dragon Bloggers it's here Nikita to show you video. a what? really cool Real Link camera. This is the Real Link E1 Outdoor, and I am so excited. I'm going to be installing it indoors just for purposes of showing you guys all the apps and connecting it to the Wi-Fi. Indoors, but let's man. Get right we will go what outdoors, dude. With. So first off, it comes with this really nice mounting bracket, the screws that you're going to need for a bracket, the charging adapter for it, and then an extender for the charger so that you can run it where you need to. And of I course, the internet camera. cable if you want it wired. Now the instructions are super clear on how to set up this camera, so let's get right into that. First, you're going to want to install this app and then when you're ready to add the camera you hit the plus button and you're going to want to scan a qr code once you do that it's basically whoa, whoa, straightforward whoa. to set it Scanning up and you are going to manually install it and this is how um you know we installed ours it only took everybody having for screws, dinner so super easy anything, installation anybody do anything really good once we got it set up to the vantage that we wanted to, we started testing around. I need ideas because I didn't pull nothing out, so I have to go find some. A lot of the settings that some. this thing has. Now, of course, the first one is being able to move the camera as you see fit with the PTZ function. All you have to do is tap PTZ on the app, and as you move it on the app, it also moves the camera. Now, what's also really cool is it features this really cool light. Uh, on the camera that will automatically kick in right, when light, it detects right, not enough light, but you can also manually introduce it. Now, some other cool features from the app uh, besides the PTZ function, which you see here, are that you can talk. There's two-way audio, so not only will it capture the audio around it, but you can also speak through it by simply tapping this button and talking into it. You can also record, yeah. take clips, do other things within the app. There's so much utility out of it, and it just makes it so much better. I really... Yeah, it's a really nice piece if you guys need a little security camera. It's actually not a bad price either, like $99 today. Uh, next up is a little RC car from Deer RC. Hello everyone, I just got the Deer D -E D E45 Rock Crawler. This thing is a beast. Uh, it's a monster truck, it's got dual uh, motors for four wheel drive. <laughs> now I'm yawning, why? It's got a metal shell on the outside, and this thing is made no for reason for the yawn. terrain. Can go off road, can go on rocks, can go down the road just fine, it's pretty cool. It's even got some LEDs right here where when you turn it on, they light up, and I go uh, your the battery that was already installed in the compartment, and a spare battery, so you can swap these out. Oh, spares. Um, lasts for about 90 minutes, easy to charge, just anything that can plug in via USB, plug right into the battery, and then need two AA batteries for the controller, but yeah, once Guys, it's on, I got some shoes. Goes well. Great. Yeah, take this thing outside and see what it can do. All right, we are outside, so let's see what this thing can do. Not the fastest so made thing in the world, let's guys. Let's take it off and see. Ooh. Well, look at that. It grass quite nicely right there. Take the curb. Very easy to control, easy to use, and this thing is a beast. As you guys see, a nice little RC car for the little kids and adults alike. What do we got next? Oh, what's the E's? The E's 1000s, guys. The E 1000s. James here with a quick unboxing to showcase some new cars. Oh. This is from. Can we talk about the buckets sitting there collecting water? Because that is no longer there. Uh, this is their E1000 gaming headset. This is a plug and play style headset. It is a USB style. It is RGB. I'll be right back, guys. Games. One it second. It does have 7.1. It will work with your laptop PCs and all that good uh, jazz. And they, it does come in several colors. I believe we have black here, but it does come in blue, red, and green. Now, it is full RGB, like I said, plus 7.1, plus noise canceling. Noise canceling mic is 100 degree. Uh, Readjustable so it can be moved around. Now, ah. 
that can be with the 50 millimeter drivers and all of that good jazz. Let's pop it open and give you guys your first look at it. As you guys see in the package, you get the headset, user guide, carrying couch, and manual. Now with this, like I said, you get the headset, carrying couch, and the manual, of course. You also have the noise-canceling microphone. Now, this is a full 7.1 surround sound style. It is a fully wired headset with RGB lighting. Now, wired up, you do have to use the USB. Now, you do get this pleather at carrying case with their logo and red strings, which is very cool. Now, I love it, guys. You don't have to use it for the headset, but that's the way it comes. So, that's what they expect. Now inside here, you'll get this actual cable that's always permanently connected. You get the nice thick padding and the adjustable earmuffs. Uh, you also get the microphone that can actually swivel down, up and out of the way, but also can bend. Now you can actually bend the headset like this, like you're showing, but don't go the opposite direction because it will not last that way. Uh, you have the adjustable noise canceling microphone that can move up and down. Guys, this will actually connect up to your PlayStations 4s and 5s or laptops or PCs and work that way. Now... With that being said, it is a USB style plug, so you do have to have a USB. Now it does have a volume control on the actual cable and a microphone mute button right there, uh, which is kind of cool. Now, once you're in, you will have the permanent lighting that is always, 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 always on. Now you have several versions of this. You have gray, green, red, blue, and black, of course. Uh, so there are multiple versions if you need. 50 millimeter drivers, a 2.2 meter cable, which is actually very cool. Uh, so you don't have that short cable at all. Uh, very compatible with almost every device out there. It does have the USB audio sound chip built in. So the audio sound chip is what makes it give it that 7.1 surround with that. Hey, Bubber Man, what's up, guy? What's up? Uh, I had my headphones just fall on my foot, so we're going to just kick it around and leave it alone. Now we're going to hear the microphone test coming on from this headset. Okay, now that we're plugged Is into it? the Ixus E1000s, uh, everything you hear is coming from this headset straight from it. So I'm hoping it sounds great. Hopefully no issues. You know, I didn't adjust no sound settings or nothing. It's just raw straight from the microphone. So yeah. now I'm going to play back, just listen back, raw. and then I'm going to let you guys know what I think. As you guys see, it has a great microphone, good sound quality there with that. Uh, no background noise, which is very, very good. Now, listening to it and using it on games is beautiful. It, you hear what you need to hear. Uh, if you're playing first-person shooters, you'll hear those uh, footsteps and those bullets whizzing by. Uh, if you're playing like, let's say, Ark, you hear the dinosaur's feet stomping like you're there. If you guys need a headset for a really good price range, at $25 today, the Ixa E1000 is an amazing choice for you. Now, we're going to be moving over to a Govi product. Now, guys, this is the Govi RGBIC monitor lights, and Nate did a video for this. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at this awesome Govi DreamView G1 gaming light. Course, Govi, so these guys. are actually light strips that sit behind your Govi. monitor or TV or really anywhere, and they read the colors of your screen with the camera that you can see that is right on top of my monitor. You can see right now that they are mimicking the colors of my mimicking. monitor with that razor Mimic. background. These are very easy to set up, so I'm just going to go ahead and showcase to you guys all the things that this can do. Oh, so we're just going to go ahead and play this video and as you guys can see right here it responds to the lights immediately which is really awesome i think the way that this works is just so incredible because it reads this camera and pulls that data through to the lights in real time like i said before at the beginning of the video this adds such a nice ambience and makes your setup regardless if it's a tv a gaming pc setup whatever it is this absolutely shreds whenever it comes to making your desktop stand out. So as you guys can see here, we loaded into a game of Raft because it's a very vibrant game. You guys can see when I look around that it goes blue when I'm looking at the sky and brown whenever I'm looking at the deck. And you can see when I jumped in the water there that it actually in real time reflected the deep dark blue yeah. ocean that you guys look can see that, i guys. jumped just into. look at it it absolutely looks incredible i can't get over how awesome this makes the setup look it just and makes everything feel you so professional you guys can what see every shark? single little color change the govi dream yeah, g1 light absolutely reflects it in real time and it just looks so good and so not only are you able to use this as a 
screen indicator or a screen reflector, you're also able to control. So with that, guys, you do have the stagnant colors you could use, uh, music mode or scenes to change all the colorations like most of the Govi stuff that we do. Now, we do have another very cool Govi product, guys. This is actually the light bars that, you know what? Dude, we don't have to do the video for these. Guys, these are the light bars right behind me. These are the 15-inch RGBIC light bars right there. They're called the Flows. Uh, these are the Flow Pros. Uh, let's actually drop off the TV lighting here so you guys can see the bars itself. Uh, so I'm going to back up. I'm going to drop off the TV. So there's your two light bars. Uh, those are down very, very dim right now. Uh, it's about 4% brightness. Actually, I take that back. 7% brightness. Uh, we're going to drop this up to 50 You're about 50%. There's 50% right there. You guys see that? Now, if I go to 100%, You'll notice how bright it really, really gets, which is just beautiful. Now, we don't need it up that high, but if we want, we could swap over to scenes. Now, if I do the brightness on there, that looks like we have the cops chasing us right now. I mean, look at that, guys. Uh, the police are after us and just hide. Uh, if we want to move over to, like, Fright or something, we could do that right there. It's just going to flash and flicker. Uh, we have some glittery effects right there. Uh, we have some uh, life and all that other cool stuff, but then we can do like meteor effects if we want. Now, if we go into what's called music mode, you guys will see it start reacting and adjusting to my voice. Now, of course, if we go over here, we have a couple of rhythms and the style rhythms and music, all that other cool stuff. If we want like strikes. Rhythm to the beat, guys, we're on dynamic. We can do calm, though, if we really want. Uh, what I really like, guys, is the color patterns because inside the color patterns, you can adjust it to however you like. Uh, since we are on about 50% brightness and 100% up there, we're going to drop that there. And we can actually do uh, just like this with this. And I can actually go just down to here and call it good. Guys, the app is beautiful. I mean, honestly, the app is really, really great. And it works fundamentally very amazingly well. Uh, if you guys need, Govi's got you covered. There you go to for your uh, lights, guys. I'm not kidding. If you haven't seen it, you probably should. Oh, what do we got next? I think we got an Amazon Omni TV. We do, we do. Uh, with the Amazon Omni TV, guys, you have two different versions. Uh, Jennifer, good morning. Hello, how are you doing? Afternoon. Good afternoon. Dude, it's like 3.30 in the afternoon. What am I thinking? It's not morning. That's it. I was just going to check out over here. <laughs> uh, with that, guys, we're going to pop over. We're going to start talking about the Amazon TV. This is your Amazon TV right here. Uh, it's not on. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's really dark. It's dim. It's dingy. I don't know what to do about it. Maybe I should grab a remote. I can pop it on and turn it on and show you guys some cool stuff, but it is a 4K resolution inside this. Uh, you have a full Fire Stick. So what does that mean? The Fire Stick means you have all of the apps that you could ever really want to watch pretty much anything that you want, including Disney Plus or Amazon Prime. Uh, as you guys see, we pop over, uh, show you Disney Plus, pop in just like that. It's that quick, that smooth, that easy. If I want, I can go over to Prime Video. Uh, we can back out of Prime Video, go back to Home. We can do some really, really cool stuff coming up here in a second, guys. And I'm going to show you guys here really quick. Uh, let's go over here to my apps. And let's go here to what's called Amazon Live. You guys know nothing about Amazon Live, right? I didn't think so either. So Amazon Live, hey, check it out. What? Amazon Live? You can watch Amazon Live from the Amazon TV? Well, yeah, you can. Uh, just like that. Hey, there I am. If I click over, I can pop it up. We can just show you guys in the stream of the day. The actual sound you guys can see over there, it's going to load group chat on the side. So, yes, you can watch this. You can follow with the chat. You can actually, to join chat, you have to visit AmazonLive.com. Unfortunately, you'll have to open up a web browser. But you can watch chat. You can see me back there. You can see me pointing and looking, which is really, really cool. But best part is it's a 
65 inch 4K TV. You can't beat that, guys. You can't beat that. It's a great deal. Uh, if you guys wanted the Amazon Live or the Amazon Omni TV, good price, guys. Now, they also have a QLED version, which is what I have now. Let's turn that off. Let's go here. Go to note. Uh, you guys are going to see some cool stuff. It's going to start going into picture mode. How you doing, Jennifer? What's up? No comment about the Amazon Live at the moment. Hey, hey, hey. There's nothing wrong with Amazon Live. Oh, look at that guy again. He's showing lights and stuffs. Let's pop over. Let's grab you a Fantique. 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 I didn't do this video. Do this one. Oh, man. It's this guy. Hey guys, Nikita with Dragon Ball. Nikita. Just going to show you a absolute bad beast of a power station. This is the Fantech Evo 300, and this thing is absolutely fantastic. Now, before we get into the main unit itself, I'm going to bring you down. Now, while we're watching this, what should I eat for dinner? Anybody got any good ideas? Basically, you're going to go ahead. My kid tried to feed me pizza earlier, and I just was not in the mood for pizza. To plug it into your car. What it is? And stuff too. And as well as a USB-C to USB-C um, because there are many ways to power this device. Now, if you look right here, what I think is really cool about the actual device itself <laughs> is that guys. it labels things in and out. So that's how you know you can charge it. So since this one right here is an in and out also, um, that you can charge it. Uh, while this is playing, guys, make sure you follow in all of our social medias. Uh, we do a lot of stuff everywhere. Now, if you look right here, Sword on blue? That, see, that's not bad. Not a bad idea. Black portion for a really nice I'm not sure it's the one, the but it's not a bad idea. Not hey, Donald. Charge, how you doing? Your output and input and how much time is left remaining, whether you're, it's time remaining in the actual power station itself or time remaining to charge it. Now, another feature... Ingestion. Oh, cool potato soup. That Dad actually sounds good. Potato soup with works. bacon. So first, I'm going to be using my Apple Watch. I'm down with that one. That's actually a good idea. Side. Potato soup and so bacon. So I have my USB um, plug-in right. for my, my Apple charger and then my Apple Watch itself. Now, I'm going to turn the display back on. Or I could go to Texas Roadhouse and have steak. Display more clearly. Now, that don't DC sound bad right either. Here, this is DC on and off. Now, this is your DC side. So... We're gonna hit that button. DC is now on. So when I plug this into this USB, oh, buddy, right, right on. Here, and I plug my watch in. No cheeseburger. No, Ulrich. I do not want a cheeseburger, man. Now it's charging. It was completely dead. Carne asada. Oh. The icon goes green, and now it's charging. Now you're talking. And it even tells you. Carne asada. Um, you know the output. You can see it now that, that it's charging. Now, if I did not want to have the DC side on, I don't know what I'm in the mood for though. I simply have to hit. I did not button. pull anything out because they were here working on my place today. Off, and now my Apple Now Watch I'm just no like, what charging. am I gonna do? Um, let me turn it on so I can show it you. It really that. does. The green light comes on. Takes a second. Oh, carne asada. So you see the one, and now it's green. And now when I, I think Mexican off, one. gonna go red. Yep. See, so no more, no more juice coming out of the side. Now. The same works also. Oh, what this is AC working from ahead. The plugs, and even if you have a three-pronged AC plug, you don't have to worry about it. Right on. Around is necessary since I think I still have a gift card, so maybe that's what I'll. I mean, maybe I will do that. Turn on the AC side. So now I'm going to charge up my Apple. Oh yeah, that. So I, everybody's getting that flu for some reason. Have it Nate in. had it. Go ahead and plug my phone in. You can see AC is on. The watch is going to update after a second, so six watts, and then. Um, you can know, you can see up here that my phone is indeed charging, and then I'm gonna hit that AC button again. Oh, and Texas Roadhouse or legit next. So this thing is really good. cool. I love the fact that it gives you not only a time analysis of how much time you have based on the output that it's drawing, but also it gives you the input time when you're actually plugging it up to charge it. Now on the back, that's where you go for the input to charge it, and not only that, that but you also have this really cool section for lights. Um, it has uh, two brightness settings, um, the SOS feature, and then it turns off. So again, you hit it. Not good, Darren. That first setting, brighter, <laughs> SOS. No chicken. And then off. And so it's I've already really cool that you have all of I've already said no chicken. Nice compact <laughs> it's not package. Happening. And I really uh, think I always call products like this the insurance. The ribs. I've never had the ribs. I've only ate Texas Roadhouse once in my life. 
because uh, as someone who lives in the South and uh, we've been eating chicken like constantly this in this house. No, no to chicken. Able to get out Even though chicken parm sure sandwich sounds good. All of my stuff is charged, uh, you know, when the time comes and make sure that everything. I don't has, know what I really want. Um, I guarantee I will. Use. And so if you're looking for a product like that. I guarantee I'm going to sit here and contemplate and contemplate and I'll end up at the just like a sandwich shop or something. I'm pretty sure I've had it. I mean, they, we eat so much Italian, it's crazy. No, 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 no. My wife is a chick. My wife will eat chicken every day of the week if it's her choice. I don't know what it is about chicken and her. I just know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's not cool. Uh, so, guys, if you're looking for a little power station, the Fantech Evo 300 is actually a really cool option. Uh, but, man, some good good ideas for food, though. Uh, maybe I'll just go eat by myself and let the rest of them starve. <laughs> hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and get started yes. with the AnyCubit Cobra. The AnyCubit Cobra has been one of the easiest so that was an option earlier. Somebody's like, well, there's K there's KFC coupons. I'm like, nope, no. He has printers that I have no. ever used, so I'm super excited to showcase like, this to you Buffalo just in case you guys are interested in getting it yourself. The, fridge, the first thing you're going to notice whenever you open the box is you're going too. to get all of the different hardware, okay. user manuals, tools, everything you need to get this set up and going. The next thing is you're going to get the screen. We'll go ahead and do one of those little satisfying peels right there. Yeah, very nice. Continuing on, you're going to oh, get the upper spice. assembly right here, which seats. is the hot end assembly. This is a direct drive extruder with auto leveling featured inside of She's the software, right. which She's is really nice. Fine. And you're going to get the filament uh, spool holder. Pretty much, holder it was right more here. of a bruised ego than anything. Like, there's no bruises and nothing. She's totally fine from the fall. Uh, so gumbo sounds good, though. That's actually, I wish there was a good place for gumbo around here. I make my own, but. It's not the same. Now, guys, I've been actually thinking about getting a 3D printer, but uh, I almost purchased a whole new PC yesterday. Justin talked me out of it. I just want you guys to know that. I had a whole PC build in my cart on Amazon. Justin talked me out of it. Can you guys believe that? Justin talked me out of purchasing a whole new PC build. <laughs> Somebody sniffles I run it. I so I'm a germaphobe. I'm not that type though. I only walk it's every time I shake somebody's hands. If I shake somebody's hands, I gotta wash my hands. That's it. I don't know what it is. Maybe he's getting no 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 no. I we had a discussion. He was like, you, yeah, I should wait. That is what it was. It was pretty much a wait thing. Uh I dropped a lot of money yesterday uh, paying off my car. So I paid my car completely off. I did some other stuff and it was like, I we had it in my car and I was about to push purchase. And he was like, don't do it. <laughs> I'll wait a week or two, maybe three, maybe next month I'll purchase it. But that build's coming. The new build's coming. I'm really torn between the new AMD, uh, the AMD Ryzen or the Intel. I'm torn. So both of them are great options. They're expensive, but they're good options. Uh, guys, 3D printer is really cool, and I forgot to change the car. So this is the AnyCubic Cobra 3D that Nate did. A uh, really cool piece. Now, this one actually does double filament, which is also another cool little piece right here uh, with this AMD. I don't know, man. I, I have two build set up, so. I've always been that way, Victoria. Always. I've always been that way. Something in my head ever, ever since I was a kid. I shake somebody's hands, I gotta wash my hands. I will literally work on a car and have greasy hands and still eat a sandwich. But the moment I shake somebody's hands, I gotta wash my hands. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, my wife laughs about it. Like, it's weird. Uh, but if I, I can, I can, you know, do the fist bump thing, I'm fine. I shake their hand, it's got to wash. I don't know what it is. I don't know. 
Maybe I'm just weird. Maybe I'm just weird. Guys, any Cubic Cobra 3D printer, of course, a lot of you guys have seen Nate do that before. It's a great printer. Actually, a really phenomenal price at $239. It's actually a really good deal. Man, I want that. Can I have that, sir? Can I have this? Uh, next up is the Hoto. Hoto, Hoto, electric screwdriver that Nikita did for us. Hey guys, Nikita with Dragon Bloggers here to show you this really amazing Hoto all-in-one really design electric screwdriver. This thing is fantastic. I love how it has the nice little telescoping grabber at the top. It makes it easier for transport. It comes with a USB-C cable with... Uh, which is what you use to charge it. Um, what's also really cool is that the case itself can lock. So right now it's locked. So no matter how hard I try to pull this, it won't come off. I simply just turn it to the unlock phase and then it slides right off. Now it comes with the actual electric screwdriver itself. It has a little cap up here that blocks the top where you can put the head in. You just simply, it grips pretty well, but you simply just pull it off. Um, and then of course right here, as you can see at the top, it's on the off and then it has different torque settings that you can use it on. And when you use it, you know, you can go uh, counterclockwise or clockwise, just depending on whether you want to screw something in or take something out. And it also comes with- Yeah, Victoria, it wasn't the COVID right, stuff. So I've never worn a mask yet. You're screwing here at the bottom. I, I have no problem with that part. But um, what's also cool is the little stand where it comes is where all the different types of heads are that well, you can different use bitties. for different purposes. And whichever one you want, you just simply pull it out, go ahead and pop it into place, and then you're good to go. There's a magnetic connection that forms, and so you're good to just start screwing and then, you know, set it to whatever torque setting you want. So with that, guys, you get multiple heads. It is magnetic. It does do reforward and reverse, and it has three torque settings. Uh, fully rechargeable with the USB-C cable and will last about 400 to 500 screws. That's a really good thing. If you guys have ever taken apart uh, anything, this could really come in handy. This would actually have came in handy earlier when I was doing a doorknob video. Uh, instead, I had to hand screw everything. That's right, hand screws. Uh, next up, guys, this is the Apex Forge rotary tool. Uh, we're just going to pop. You know what? Let's show you guys the page. Let's show you the page. This is cool. Uh, right here, if you guys ever use the rotary tools, this is actually what we're showing you guys. This is the Apex Forge M6 variable speed rotary tool with 172 pieces. That's right, 172 pieces. Now, this is a six-speed version. As you guys see right there, there is your rotary tool and a whole bunch of the bits. Uh, you also have the diamond uh, engravers. You'll also have the sanders polishers, a couple little tools. You'll have the flex shaft uh, and the guards, which are actually really cool. And we'll pop over here and kind of show you guys some of that stuff right here. There's your rotor tool, the actual kit. You'll see the sanding drum and sanding disc. You'll also see the other sanding bands and sanding drum. 100 sanding papers. Eight aluminum oxide grinding stones. One piece detailer grip, one piece cutting drill guide, and one piece protective shield, and the flex piece. Then you have the one piece style, the one mandrel, the uh, two piece mandrels with the cutting disc, uh, four piece drill bits, one piece HS cutter. The HS cutter is just that. It's going to take away big chunks of metal. Uh, then you have the engraver to actually cut up, like uh, engraved names and serial numbers and stuff like that. You also have the universal chucks and whetstones to resharpen certain things with the whetstone. Honestly, just buy new bits if you're going to get that way. But at $39.93, this is a good deal. Ignore the price right there because that is without Prime. If you have Prime, it's $39.93. A cool little piece for you guys there. Apex Forge. Now we're going to show you guys the Hoto hot glue gun that I actually did. This is a really nice hot glue gun. I wasted a whole stick of glue. Ranger, today we're taking a look at this box from Hodo. This is their cordless hot glue gun, guys. Uh, inside this kit, you'll get the glue gun, you'll get 10 Hold glue sticks, door, and a USB charging cable, and a stand for it. That's right, a stand. Now, this hot glue gun is just very cool and very simple. It's this little piece. Now, this piece okay. is rechargeable. Right it does take a USB-C cable, does have this nice trigger mechanism, and on top, you have a power button. On the back is your feed. Now, on the side right here, you do have a cover over the tip, so when you put it away, you have a cover, which is very, very cool. Now, you do want to take that cover off when you're using it. Now, like I said, you yeah. have this cool little base. The really base cool. is nice. Now, guys, you can leave this base on and use it with the base. Don't worry about it. Leave it on there. You're Mama, good. Three, uh, that is going to give you nice sub. stability I to set it down that. and let it sit and rest you on there. Now, 
like I said, comes with the charging cable and also comes with 10 sticks of glue. <laughs> now, with the Mama sticks of glue, you get blobby. several styles of glitter glue sticks, uh, multiple colorations. So you do get five of those guys. You get red, green, uh, silver, gold, and blue if you need those glue sticks. Now, you also get five clear five glue clears. sticks right here. Now, we're just going to grab a clear glue stick today. Uh, we're going to use this. this. Now, to do this, guys, you will hold this down just like this till it flashes on. Uh, once it's on, it'll take about 30 seconds to heat up and be ready to go. Now, that's actually that simple. To feed this in, you'll stick nope, the nope. glue stick in. Now, of course, uh, make sure that your glue stick can go in. I'm going to do one thing real quick. I'll be right back. So, I kind of pre-tested this, so I had to cut the little end off the glue stick that I left in there. Uh, it would not feed back in. Not a big deal. Uh, 30 seconds, guys. Once it's solid, you're good to go. You'll put the glue stick in. The glue stick will literally go in just like this, guys, and you'll start feeding it through. Uh, with that, you'll just feed it in, and it goes in. Once it's in, it's ready to go. Now, you'll make sure that it is pre well, put set in there, and you guys will see that the glue starts coming out yeah, just like right. that. Now, I'm going to grab this right here. And we'll show you guys that the glue, once you start holding it, guys, it's going to take a little bit. And there you guys go. That. It starts just feeding out gun. just like that. Now, it's hot. It's extruding. You got that glue coming in and out just that simple and that easy. Uh, just that cool. Now, if you let it get a little hotter, of course, uh, it'll make it easier. As you guys see, the glue is still coming out. Just extruding just that easy. And we can literally go through this whole glue stick. Uh, with the full charge, you get about 328 feet of glue. Uh, so about 328 feet, which is hey, about good. 328 glue sticks. Uh, so if you guys need a hot glue gun, guys, Hodo's got you covered with this. And actually, it's you know it's it's cordless. It's a rechargeable. It comes with glue sticks. It works very very fast. It cools down pretty quick. Also, it's a cool piece. I'm actually keeping this. I actually have some plans to use this for a few things, uh, which is actually really cool. Uh, it's going to come in handy. So cool little piece, guys. Photo. I recommend that one. Really do. What do we got next? We got a Bay Zeus product. Yeah, Bay Zeus. And we don't need no stinking video for that one. Uh, with this, guys, you have a 100-watt PD GAN 3 fast wall charger uh, with that. This is a cool, cool, cool piece. That's right. Now, with this, you do have the dual USB-Cs and dual USB 3.0s. Uh, it does have a 5-foot cable. It is perfectly connectability. It does have a 10% clippable coupon and all of the other stuff. If you are using this to dual charge off the USB-C cables, you'll be able to do an iPhone for about 45 watts and a Samsung about 20 watts. Uh, it's going to break up that wattage with that. If you are using like your MacBooks and your MacBook Airs, uh, you'll be able to get 65 watts to charge through one USB-C and 30 watts through the other side. Uh, it does have over uh, heat protection uh, and all of the other cool things that you really want with the protection and capabilities. But you can actually charge four devices at once off this with no problem, guys, and they will charge pretty quick. Um. Uh... Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, hey, all good, all good. No, I know it is. It can be anywhere. It really can be anywhere. It's all good. Totally understandable. Uh, next up is another cool little piece. I think this is a Nate video. This is not me. This is a projector. Hey, what's going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this Asus Kuki. Darren's trying to tell me to build an AMD PC. Let's go ahead and start this video off by just seeing everything that comes in the box. Right off of the bat, the first thing you're going to notice. I'm actually undecided on the PC build. Carrying case that comes with it, and it's pretty nice that you're able to just take all of this on the go. So we'll go ahead and start by opening this up and seeing everything it comes with. The first thing you're going to notice inside of this little box is you're going to get this little accessories pack as well as a user manual. So if you do need a user manual to get this thing going, you have that option right there. Continuing on, you are going to get your power cable. It is a nice thick cable, so I think it'll hold up well over time. And they even send you a nice little HDMI cable right here, about six feet. So pretty cool of them to send that HDMI cable. And then you are going to get this remote. And as you guys can see, this remote here has all of the controls that you are going to need. You guys can see on the front that it has a power button, input selector, volume up and down. It has a mute button, a home button, so a ton of stuff. Didn't on mute his voice. Remote. I was clicking the mute and it didn't mute him. And then, of course, you are going to get the Look projector that. itself. 
So one of the coolest mute, but... things about this projector is, as you guys can see right here, it has this removable lens cover, which is really nice that once you're done mm -hmm. using this, you can pack it up safely. And speaking of the lens, the lens on this, this is a 1080p projector. And you guys will see here in a little bit, but I was very surprised with how good this thing looks. Kevin's and then on the up? bottom here, you actually have this kind of how tilt adjustment knob, which is pretty cool. Well, and this is an auto keystone and auto focus machine. So Did the controls dinner? for that are right there next to the We were sensor. just talking, discussing Continuing foods. on on the backside, you guys are going to see right here that you are going filter. to have this removable filter. I like filter. that this one has a it's filter. Cool that you're able to take this thing out and just air dust it just to keep the life of your machine running longer. By being uh, able to clean it. Man, maybe I should do that. Continuing on projector. in the back, you guys can see right here, you're going to have two HDMI inputs, a headphone output, an AV output, and two USB ports. I are. And then on top of the projector, you guys are going to notice Ordering right here dinner? Evans is ordering dinner. Controls. What are you ordering? So in case you ever lose your remote, uh, I forgot to I pull something out, so that's to, what I was discussing, what I was going to have. Top. Getting this thing started is super easy. All you have to do is unbox it like you guys saw I did there. Plug in this back cable, as you guys can see in the back, and then all you're going to do after that is install two AAA batteries. It does not come with AAA batteries, and then you are good to go. Well, somebody mentioned carne asada. As you guys can see right here, we'll go ahead and uh, I mentioned Texas up. Roadhouse. And honestly, one of the things that surprised me the uh, most about this projector. Then and there was a discussion was about right this thing works. Uh, chicken I've used parm with from vodka other sauce. Big name companies that sandwich. weren't as bright as this one, so it's pretty cool with how bright this. Uh, gets. Then we had a gumbo and discussion. As you guys can see right here, I'm using that manual keystone and manual focus. And now, while I might not have gotten this focus either. perfectly, that's more than likely due to the fact that I can't see even with my glasses on. So you guys, you guys see how hungry me. I am. I have a little all bit day. of a video right, test, and like I said before, I'm very pleasantly surprised with how well this machine worked. The darks are very, very dark on it. The colors are vibrant. The speakers inside of it sound really good, and this thing just does a really, really good job of producing true colored images. And videos it just looks really nice and here's a little test of the speakers at 30 percent volume 30 30 he says 30 percent volume. go higher sir anybody know what city that is i have the clue i was asking so if you guys need a little projector also cookie 1080p might be the one for you now we're going to be popping over to some vaunt led light bulb Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment and today we are going to be taking a look at this Vaunt Nathaniel. light bulb. Now this light bulb here isn't just a regular light bulb. This is a smart home light bulb. Now this package does come with two of these bulbs, but to test this out for you guys today, we're only going to need the one. This thing is super easy to get set up, no so let's go ahead and jump sense. in and just show you guys everything you need to do. So all you have to do is just simply plug this into an existing light source as you guys can see here i'm using a lamp i had a little bit of trouble putting that in for some reason then once you're done with that go ahead and turn on the light and as you can see here when it right first there comes with on, you it's it was actually normal, pretty warm cool light we are able to change that by pairing this with the application that you can download on the google play store or your app store when you do that uh, while this is playing anybody in the new england area guys stay safe tomorrow and the next day because we got some really frigid weather coming uh, we're going to hit minus 14 over the night uh, with wind chills. They said it's going to be like minus 45, uh, which is just crazy, crazy. And I'm still in shorts, uh, almost second guessing the shorts at that weather. <laughs> Fish, steak, or chicken. So I mentioned Texas Roadhouse for steak. Somebody said their ribs. Uh, fish is pretty good, but definitely not going to happen with chicken. Not gonna happen. We're, we're not talking about chicken around here. Uh, uh chicken go bye bye. Well, I set my water. Now with this, guys, you have the app. The app will allow you to adjust any color you want or brightness level with that. It's definitely gonna be brighter in a non shaded setting but hey you have a great option there uh as i start coughing whatever you know we're gonna show you guys the yo suda yo pseudo bike i'm here showcasing some uh, ways you could upgrade your yosuda bike to make it more comfortable to ride for longer periods of time first if you have large feet 
This Zacro oversized pedal feet. works excellent. Next, Zacro makes a really comfortable bike seat that's more comfortable than the default Yasuda seat. Combine that with the Zacro gel pad, and then you could feet. sit on the bike seat for a longer period of time without having discomfort in your hip bones or discomfort in your bum. This is actually makes it a lot more comfortable. I also have size 13 shoes, so having a larger pedal with larger nails helps it grip onto my shoe better. And I can't fit my shoes into the default slot that comes on the default Yosuda pedal. Yeah. So if you guys need maybe a Yosuda stationary bike. Now he's showing you guys that is a magnetic resistance style. So you do twist that dial, it will adjust down. So it does have a placement for the phone and all of that other really cool stuff that you really need. Uh, next up is this Life Pro Rumble deck thing that Nate's doing a video. Seconds, what? Let's go. Come on. It already burns so bad. I'm this is the Life Pro Rumble Deck 40 so Pro Vibration style, guys. Spot. All right here, down my leg, it burns so bad. We're hey, Cody, how seconds. you doing? Please, look, help me. Help me. Help. I'm tough. I'm strong. Girls like me. Uh... Ugh. Ugh. It burns so much worse than a normal squat. I'm not kidding you. It is terrible. Kind of like that. That is so bad. It burns so bad. Kind of like... I'm hey, Miss Danny. That is how you do that over there. Uh, if you guys need a little Life Pro product right there, really cool little piece, 4D Pro Vibration. Now, I can't believe... Hey, that wasn't my... That was not my account. <laughs> Ah, uh, cool little piece. Now we're going to pop over. We're going to show you guys the adjustable dumbbells from them also. Hey guys, we're going to be taking a look at this awesome dumbbell set today. We're Lusper. My bad. It wasn't Life Pro. It's Lusper. And there's a kitty cat in the video. Super nice. Comes with this nice little... Uh, just like Miss Danny did over there. Workout. So it starts you off with the basics. Gives you assembly operation instructions. All that good stuff. Your safeties. It's got some meal plan suggestions, water intake, and sleeve. So this has got a little bit of everything if you're trying to start your fitness journey. That's Can we nice. just talk about the cat and how the so cat wants the box? Give the kitty the box. Right, so it comes with the nice little stand. So the cool part about this is, let me move it so we can get some light. Um, it's an adjustable dumbbell set so you actually get a lot more for your oh. size so you can actually up it in weight or less of it in weight and there's yeah, hopper of course hopper? what is that do you think you could lift that how strong like i got this don't worry Super cool. Okay, so let's see kind of how it works. So you twist the, the sides. Place, the tongues of the base um, in the latch into the corresponding plate grooves. So this way. Nope. Completely yes. wrong. Okay. Oh no, it goes up. Okay. 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 There you okay. Go. That makes sense. All right, so your little arrows go up towards the top. <clears throat> see, uh, rotate the grip handle and make sure the preferred weight at your personalized exercise. And then choose a click. Oh, okay, so you hear that click? That's how you know that it's actually like in there. Okay, so right now it's set on 20 pounds. So this is a 20 pound weight. So it could be three discs each side. I turn it to 15. Yes. It clicks. Turn above. Turn the pointer to the corresponding weight. Turn, turn, turn back in the base after you. So then you lift it up and, oh, that's cool. So now it's the corresponding weight. That's really neat. That's awesome. Uh, Mama okay, three, so check it. Go say, exclamation points and see what you have. Did all my workouts. Let's say I want to do 20 pounds. So then we would just rotate this little guy to 20. Oh, that's that's really cool. This would be perfect for like um, a studio apartment or like a dorm room if you didn't have enough space for like a full dumbbell set. This is really cool. 
if you wanted to like so a fully adjustable guys dumbbell set right there all the way up to 25 pounds uh has the little case uh very easily adjustable just twist the handle and you're good to go now of course if you don't want to do that you could definitely do the ab roller and we're going to show you guys the ab roller right now uh, definitely not my thing because yo Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment back with another product from Vince Greer. We're going to be taking a look at their ab roller. I'm not really sure where they got a photo of me, but I guess it's pretty cool for them to kind of give me yeah. a shout out on the Keep box. Dreaming, Nate. So what we're going to do is just open this up and take a look at it. So if you guys are looking to start a fitness journey, something like this from Vince Greer might be what you want to look into getting. So let's go ahead and just see everything that comes with it. So first of all, we are going to have our handles right there, soft touch material. Now we'll go ahead and this guy thinks it's his picture on the video. box. Just see everything that comes with it. You're going to have one of your extension poles right here. You are going to have on the inside um, some mat right there. I'm not really sure exactly what that's going to do quite yet, but we'll figure that out. And we'll just kind of empty out the rest of the box by doing one of these numbers right here. So let's go ahead and see everything else that comes with it. All right, so that's going to be it inside of the box. Now let's see if we can get this thing built and uh, see how well it works. So it looks pretty straightforward so far. It looks like really all we're gonna have to end up doing is really just installing this bar through here and then attaching it to the handles. So let's go ahead and try that out real quick. So it looks like the bar is gonna go straight through and then the handles are just going to slide onto this just like that. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming what's going to happen is you are going to roll on this or roll it across your abs. To be honest with you, I'm really not sure how this is gonna work, so stay tuned for another video uh, where I show you how I got those abs that are on the box. Uh, you know, there are instruction manuals included with this, but you know around here we are stubborn, so we're not gonna really use it. You know, That's I was right. kidding. This is, I, I know exactly what this is. This is how you do an ab roller. Don't make fun of me. Um, and then this little guy right here is just kind of a little uh, pad to kind of house it or put it under your knees or something along those lines. I do have to say I really like the design on it with like the red kind of lightning bolts. Um, red and black has always been my favorite color scheme, so I think this is going to be a nice added collection to my already extensive workout gear. So I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. Thanks for uh, tuning in and watching this video. So if you guys need an ab roller, of course, there you go. Now we're going to be moving over to the Yosuda under the desk elliptical that he did. Yo, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment back again today with yet another video and we are going to be taking a look at this Yosuda mini exercise bike. This is going to be a great way to keep in shape, to keep your heart rate up and not really have to do much. You could set this under your desk. You could set it at the end of a chair. There's so much you can do with this. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. We'll show you everything that it comes with and then we'll also test it out. All right, and so after a little bit of a struggle, being that one of the pedals, the screws on it, you actually, in order to tighten it, you have to screw it on left, so left. Just so you guys know, Nate has never put a bike together because that's how it always works. The tidy, righty, loosey. It's like that on bike pedals, I guess. I just never really knew that, but just make sure that on one of them, you go the opposite way. You guys can see that this is a very small form factor machine. You even have these nice little kind of foot cuffs right here in order to keep your foot stabilized on here when you're done you have front and back stabilizers which they might actually be on backward <laughs> if i go ahead and turn this over you guys can see that you have a little well, control that. panel right here that'll show you distance calories burned your time that you're going and then you're going to have a little analog adjustment knob right here to adjust the resistance so you can go from one all the way to eight eight being the highest amount of resistance overall this thing was super easy to get set up let's go ahead and test it out Okay, so once you've got it unboxed and set up, all you have to do is find... I will point out, guys, he does have this a little opposite incorrect. So the little bars should be on the back and the large bar should be on the front to help it keep good stay place in place more. Now, I did want to say Just that saying. this stabilizer that's on the back is longer. Make sure that is on the opposite side of the control panel, which is right here. That is going to give you more stability. And all you have to do now is just set it up wherever you want it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just show you guys exactly what this looks like when you're just kind of hanging out. If you're watching TV but you still want to get a workout in, you can do that with this pedaling bike. You guys can see right here that you can just sit down, lay back, and get some workouts in. So, Scott. if I go ahead and switch all the way down to one being the lowest resistance, this thing is super easy as you guys can see right there.
Now, with that, it will keep track of your calories, your miles uh, done, and your time lapsed, uh, which is a cool little piece, guys. Under the desk ellipticals are really, really handy if you uh, sit and are sedentary a lot. Now, of course, we're going to round this out with a nice little sauna blanket right here. Uh, this is the infrared sauna this blanket. This is the Life Pro Wellness Recovery Rejuva Wrap infrared sauna blanket you've got this amazing look at that is it right on there disposable sauna wrap and it comes with five of these comes with a head towel That's the way they did the embroidery on their towel is really impressive comes with a manual it has its own carrying bag the bag itself has extra a little bit of space you have temperature settings the display the time display and being able to adjust it and it does plug into the wall. five layer design so the it has a waterproof oxford fabric a comforting cotton layer a far infrared carbon fiber heating system then it has a comforting cotton layer and then non-toxic pu leather and wow look how thick those zipper edges are it's not going to fall apart so i'm really impressed with the size of this blanket it is 71 inches long and 71 inches wide and the inner circumference is 65 inches you can adjust the temperature between now with this you can adjust the temperature to pretty much where you need it to be set which is actually cool so you have the very large size the multiple settings with that and the temperature settings which is cool. So anywhere between 86 to uh, 86 degrees and 95 degrees is for over well-being. Uh, 95 to 113 is for muscle soothing and tension and relieving. 113 to 131 is for pain and uh, inflammation relief. About 168 to 176 is definitely up there for detoxing or just plain sweating it out, uh, which is probably what I need right now to get rid of this head cold uh, with that, guys. Uh, but this is a very nice setup. You do have about 71 inches long, 36 inches wide, uh, but guys, 65 inch circumference, so it can fit a big person. Don't worry about that. Uh, you have the adjustments. You can pretty much put it anywhere. And as you can see, Aster gets right on in, and you can't even tell she's in there. So, I mean, if you get two small people, they both can fit in there. What can I say? Just saying. Uh, but simply little put, guys, you'll set it up, you'll set it on there, you'll turn it up, you'll adjust it with the temperature uh, and where you need it set. And then you have a timer. It will actually auto shut off after a certain time and you're good to go. Now we're going to go over to this little page and show you guys this little cool product. This is from LifePro. You guys remember that vibrating little stand that Nate did? Well, this is actually a vibrating plate machine, uh, professional style. It's actually really good price today at $287, which is a smoking deal. Uh, it has anti-slip rubber, adjustable speeds anywhere from 1 to 99, easy controls, and all of the other cool stuff. You can set up your times, your programs, your pulse, your speeds, and start and stops. Uh, right there, it'll show select and all of that, and it keeps track right on the dash. It'll then tell you how to set it up. It does come with resistance bands uh, and shows you how to adjust all of that. It does come with a free video library and the free video book, uh, which is kind of cool. Now you get the two resistance bands, the realist, or resistance straps, and then the bands. You also get a cup holder to keep your water dear and clear or near and clear uh, and all the other cool stuff, guys. That's a really cool piece. That's actually a really good deal right today. Uh, to have that nice vibrating machine if you guys are looking for something like that for a life pro. Now, of course, we're going to show you guys the Rimfo Eye Massager right here. Okay, so I'm going to adjust it because I kind of have a big old head. So let's see. Okay. So it's kind of inflating. Oh, my God. So it inflates and then it depresses. Oh, wait, this is so cool. And as you can see, it plays music also. So you can't okay, connect so it up to Bluetooth, plays, guys. And then it like releases the um the air out of them. Well, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it up here for right now before I start it. And then I'm gonna play a song. Do I have it on? Oh, the volume. That's why. What's up, buddy? Okay, it's at maximum volume. Okay. 
Oh my God, the warm, oh, it feels so warm. And I can hear my music too. I'm gonna change the mode. Okay, this is vibration only. Oh, it's doing like short bursts. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, so this is air pressure. Okay, so this is... So as you guys see, it's a really cool piece that can work very, very well. And Nikita's really in love with this. Uh, if you guys need the Rinfo Eye Massager, it's a good option. Now we're just going to pop here. We're going to talk about this. We're going to jump forward. Where we're having this uh, with this, guys, you have this very cool Syncom Foot Massager. Now, it is four feet, about 11 inches or so. Uh, it does have multiple modes, multiple heats, and multiple intensities or air pressure settings. Now, the way this works is like airbags massaging all the way around while nodulars are modeling on the bottom. Now, it does have removable inserts that can actually come out and are washable. So you can wash those inserts because it does do heat, which is really, really cool like that uh, with that. Now, if you feel that the airbag is getting too tight, you have an automatic uh, deflator button down there. Now, you see that it's actually moving my feet back and forth. And that's because it's massaging me. Now we're going to adjust it, change modes, adjust the settings, and turn the heat on and off just like that. This thing is really, really cool. It works very, very well. Now I will tell you, though, if you have a size 12 and up, your foot's not going to fit all the way. I have a size 13. My foot does not fit properly all the way, so it's not massaging the very back end of my heel, uh, which is it is what it is. But if you guys need, Syncom's got you covered with that one, guys. Uh, cool little piece. Now I believe we have... Look, it's James again. It's James again. James here with a quick unboxing showcase of a new product. This is from Syncom. This is their <laughs> air compression leg massager, guys. This has two modes, three intensities, and can fit up to a <laughs> leg of up to 28 inches around. So a very large leg it can fit. Just remember, at 28 inches round, it can fit up to. These are Velcro strapped, has an air compression, right? This will max inflation time will be about 70 seconds of inflation time and it takes about three to 10 seconds to deflate. So when it works, it inflates and deflates like a massaging tissue or a massaging shiatsu style massage of air, which is actually pretty cool. Now this does take 12 watts of power. So remember that guys, it does take power to work. Now with this, guys, you have multiple modes, multiple intensities. You have dual leg massagings with this. Now, it is an air compressed style, so both of these do need to be plugged into the actual side. Now, it does have the extension pieces. Those extensions will extend out and make it so a larger foot can fit in this. Uh, with that little extension, to about 24 inches round. Uh, with the extensions, about 28 and a half inches around the calves. Uh, I will fit up to about 11 inch foot. Uh, you can fit a bigger foot than that. It really doesn't matter. It'll fit in there, guys. Uh, it does Velcro strap around your feet to actually work with that. Now, with this, uh, in there you have the mode 1 and mode 2. You have three air pressure levels, level low, medium, and high uh, with that, which is actually really cool and works very fundamentally very well. Now, like I said, you do have to have it set up. And the way these work is really cool. They will massage with air around in different places around your leg in different modes, depending on the mode you get. So if you uh, like mode one, it may do the whole side. Mode two may air up here or there or foot by foot, which is actually kind of cool. Now, setting it up, you do have the controller here. The controller is what's going to have to connect up the right and left uh, leg uh, section. And there is your power button, uh, your mode buttons, your intensities and all of that other stuff. We're going to move over where we actually strapping it into our leg and all that. Hey, no problem. You're quite welcome. Uh, so right here, there's my ugly feet. And of course, we're going to strap into this with the Velcro just like this. And we're going to set this down and strap our feet in. Now, of course, I, like I said, 12 and a half size 13 foot is what I have. Uh, we're going to fit it in there. You guys are going to see that it will actually fit in this, even though they say it's 11 inches deep. But hey, my foot fits. No problem. Don't worry about that. Uh, just because it sits in there, you're good to go. It's definitely bigger than what they said. I'm just saying.
Uh, with that, guys, then you plug it in, you set it up, you're good to go, and it'll start massaging just like that. Really, really nice piece. If you guys are looking, Syncom's got you covered. Now we have the Sonic LX Professionals Massage Gun. James here. Today we're taking a look at the Life Pro Sonic LX Massage Gun. That's right, the Massage Gun. Now, this one's kind of cool, guys. This has nine speeds, ten attachments. Nine speeds. Uh, it comes nice. in three colors, guys. Uh, blue, red, and black. Inside this box, you're going to be greeted with some stuff, some including water. user manuals, thank you cards, and all of that. Now, I've actually opened this up. You're going to be greeted with this device just like this in a carrying case. This carrying case is so you can keep Amazing it all in one case, place. Guys. Now, inside here, it is a nice, uh, soft slash hard shell, double zipped. Once you open it up, you'll be greeted with all the devices and all the heads. Now, we're going to get back to that in a second. Uh, you also have the charging cable for the device. Uh, this is for the actual charge massage gun. Now, you'll get four hours of usage on a full charge. You'll then be greeted with this USB to USB C cable. And there's a reason for that. And I'm going to, guys, show you this. So inside here you have the 10 heads. Inside these heads you have a whole bunch of cool stuff and we're gonna kinda get to these. Uh, first you have this nice little uh, bullet foam style head. You then have a shovel head, guys. Uh, you then have two of the round ba large balls. Uh, right here, guys, two different styles of those. Uh, you then have the spinal yeah. hook, right? Uh, you then also have this cool absorber. It's like a rubber bouncy absorber tip. So that's cool. You then have this other really cool tip right here. This is just a flat paddle uh, with that. You then have some other cool tops. You have this full on metal flat uh, cone. Uh, this is really good for massaging and stimulating uh, the, the muscles. You then also have a metal, metal cone bullet. or bullet style cone. But then you're greeted with one that you guys aren't expecting and probably didn't know this could happen. This one right here, this flat tip, tip style. You see it's pink. That right there, guys, is rechargeable. Heats up by a push of a button. You press it and it heats up. Uh, you set it in just like all the other ones, guys, and you're good to go with that. Now, you have multiple modes with this, guys, or multiple speeds of adjustment. Uh, you have nine speeds, guys, 10 different attachments, uh, multiple colors. This is the blue, but they do have red. I believe they have the morning blue and black version with that, uh, which is really cool. Now, the heated tip is amazing. Uh, the metal flat and the metal cones are good because you can actually put like uh, massage oils on it and all that. Down at the bottom, you have you turn it on. And you do have your bright lights up there. They'll actually indicate your level of battery charge. And then adjusting it will actually adjust that the actual speed. Now, you guys see that the speed's going up. And that thing is moving even without a head in it. And you guys can see that very clear. Uh, not to be loud level. Either. It also has a battery indication up there. And you can see that. Look at that. Look at that go right there. Uh, look at the. So if you guys see that, that is actually working very, very well. Now, that little massage head heats up very well and very fast. It's an amazing little piece, guys. I'm going to tell you, that is just a beautiful, beautiful uh, massage gun. If you guys need, the Life Pro Sonic LX Professional Massage Gun might be the one for you. Now we're going to show you guys the Comfy Air Shiatsu Back Massager. This is the Comfy Air Shiatsu Neck and Shoulder Massager. To help soothe sore muscles, it incorporates 4D kneading massage rollers and 8 massage rotating nodes. It also has a heat function that you can turn on or off. The detachable flap is washable and you can add it if you want to reduce the intensity or remove it if you want to increase the intensity of the massage. With its U-shaped design, you can put your hands into the straps and have it closer to your neck or you can easily place it on different areas of the body such as oh, your waist, up when it's heating. lower back and even your calves it does have auto reverse rotation and bi-directional massage features it does provide a deep tissue massage which feels great and on top of that it does promote blood circulation throughout the body as well as it comes with two different types of chargers, one that allows you to use a car charging port if you have a cigarette lighter, as well as an AC adapter so you can use it at home, in the office, or on the go. 
I enjoy that you can place this anywhere on the back as well as you can use the arm straps to put your hands in there so that way your whole body supported as well as you can use it as a way to kind of push it closer to your back if you want it to be even more intense or loosen it if you want it to not be so close. It's definitely very convenient for someone to use on their own and would make for a very thoughtful gift if you gave it to somebody else. I hope this video helped. Thank so that is the Comfier Shiatsu Back and Neck Massager. A nice little piece if you guys are looking for something like that. Now we're going to pop over. We're going to show you guys the Rest Cloud Cervical Traction Device. So this product right here <clears throat> is my Rest Cloud Neck and Shoulder Relaxer. It's a cervical traction device. Uh, for TMG, I apologize for coughing, guys. Uh, it's really what's up? easy to use, and it can relieve oh, neck pain. Oh, look at that! You got tickets. You got minutes. tickets. You got. You. Um, it can be used as an ordinary pillow all night long, and normally you'll need about one to three days to adapt to this pillow. But it's made of a dense and soft foam design that provides sturdy, lightweight, and a comfortable base. So I'm going to um, go ahead and take this out and let my girlfriend use it, and basically kind of show you how it looks and how it works. And put a um, ring on that, I'll buddy. Put it. Ring on it. it is. He says so his my girlfriend, girlfriend is laying on the ground and she has the neck pillow set up and basically we followed the instructions. The cat's trying to get the instructions. Um, but uh, basically it shows you uh, that you rest in a, a supine position. Uh, you place uh, it behind your neck, which she does, and then it wants you to put your hands basically under... Um, laughing i can hear the tv of, in the background you know like flat surface and basically push your head back um and that's basically how you use it to work out um she did mention that there was uh some slight discomfort at first but it kind of you know got better the more she used it and the device does specify that it takes about one to three days to get used to it so if you're looking for something that you can use to help basically support if you guys are looking for something like that, the Rest Cloud Cervical Traction Device might be the one for you. Now we're going to be moving over to this cool little device right here, guys. This is an actual beaut. This is from Spa Latiques, and this is actually the Vanilla Scented Set. My wife actually did this video. Hi, I'm Rachel, and today I'm going to be showcasing this beautiful 8-piece vanilla bath set by Spa Latiques. It comes in this cute little tub. I mean, how cute is that? So we're going to get these products open and see what they smell like. So these products are rich with shea butter, so moisturizing for the skin. And we're going to open this. And this is the shower gel. What a beautiful packaging, don't you think? Absolutely love it. Hey, Pat. Beautiful vanilla doing? scent. Absolutely amazing. I'm so impressed with the quality of the product. All right. And then on to the bubble bath. And I would expect it to have that shoes. same great vanilla scent. I got new shoes, just guys. Drop, pour this into some running uh, water, however you like it. Means I have to put a suit on. And then on to the next product, gotcha. we have our body lotion. So let's see how this feels. Poke this open. All right. And again, gorgeous packaging. Wow. Now that again, guys, really this good. is an AP set. It does have a 10% clippable coupon. It does come in other scents. And the or, scent uh, is just absolutely You have beautiful. lavender, rose, and vanilla. Uh, if wow. you guys are I'm looking so for that. Impressed. All right. And then on to this. Now, as you see, she's going in there. You have the bath bombs, the body butters. You have the actual bath salts in this kit. Uh, so it's a full-on kit. You do get a lot of pieces, which is actually really cool. Uh, with that, it's just a beautiful, beautiful kit to have all these pieces. I mean, uh, you get two bath bombs, a shower gel, bubble bath, body lotion, body butters, uh, bath salts, bath puff, and the cute tub. Uh, the tub is really cool. You can use that tub for pretty much anything. Uh, she used hers for a plant. Uh, she turned it into a planter, which is actually really cool. Uh, she's still showing you guys the pieces right here. Uh, but the scents are really nice. They're not overly powering, to, to me at least. Uh, some people say they might be a little bit overpowering, but not, to me, they're just they're just fine. And I'm a picky person about scents. Uh, but with that, guys, you have all these pieces, and then you have this very cool tub that you can literally do anything you really want with. It's a really nice idea and a great gift idea for that. Uh, if you're looking for something like that, maybe the Spa Latiques is the one for you. 
Now, the cool part is the Spa Latiques also offers bigger kits or different styles. They also have this really cool uh, Hawaiian scent or uh, it's like a tropical scent, which is just amazing. Uh, now we're going to show you guys this cool little Dream Paris Soul Shine Rhinestone Shoes that Mrs. Dragon Ball. Today we're taking a look at this fantastic pair you guys are gonna see a doggo. of slip-on ballerina flats by Dream Pairs. Now, as you can see, they're coated in rhinestones. In a doggo. They're so pretty. They're so sparkly. They <laughs> will match pretty much um, anything. It just adds a really nice... Bling what you doing, it. Mom? I just, what I you doing? Can I, can I inspect They're those? They're very comfortable. These are the <laughs> six and a half size. Now, they do uh, have the slip-on design. I love that dog. Easy on, easy off. They also have a breathable latex insole, which makes it really nice for comfort. They also have... A nah, he just wants to be. He wants to know what's on going on. Why is she talking and to I no one? And I did notice that these shoes do not slip very easily. So if you have had shoes in the past that are very slippery on the bottom, this floral design on the outer sole will really help. Kind of a little. Hey, no that. problem. And as you can see, Kiwi fun. likes them too. But yeah. these are just very cute. See, that's Kiwi. Very stylish. And I did notice that the rhinestones don't come off very easily. So these are going to be nice and durable and not flake off. And they will stay beautiful and easy to wear, easy to take care of. Honestly, honestly guys, a great set right there. Now, the cool part is, is, uh, ooh, teamed up some stuff. Like I said, guys, I got me a set here, a uh, different set from the Bruno Mark collection, uh, which just are cool. Uh, they both come individually wrapped, guys. If you haven't seen something like this, uh, let's pop it open. Let's kind of show you guys this. Uh, now, this is kind of out of my range, but I actually like these. Uh, these are actually really cool. Uh, very cool, elegant looking, very large, nice and wide shoe. Uh, so, so, yeah. It, sometimes, sometimes it's definitely hard to tell them apart if they're not your dogs. I agree. Uh, they both have that nice tan with that little white stripe. Uh, just he's got a bigger white stripe on the back of his head. Right there. So <laughs> They really are. Those, those dogs are cool. The dogs are awesome. They just are James and shoes. Yeah, I wear shoes. What do you mean? I'm usually in Jordans. I'm usually in Jordans, though. Uh, so, uh, definitely usually in Jordans. But hey, whatever, you know. Now we're gonna be moving over, guys, to another pair. This is the Planon uh, boots, I believe. Uh, probably These are the Planon short rain boots Planone. for women. The shaft measures approximately 5.5 inches from the hey, arch, thanks, Phil. and the platform measures approximately 1.1 inches. <laughs> That's it has a, a lot of dogs. Sole, Seven of them. Boot opening. No, that's back too much for me. Design, and it's waterproof. Can't even take care of myself. The latex insole is molded and self. removable. The polyester cotton lining is doing all right, man. I'm trying to beat that head cold. The two millimeter EVA feel a little better. material is soft, strong, and I compression do, resistant. But it's winter. The two point five millimeters of latex it's, material it's crazy, crazy cold right now, right? Resilience and airflow. Uh, plus, I broke my These flip These ankle boots are designed with a synthetic PVC. Hey, no problem, Phil. I appreciate it, buddy. Design. Have a great night, man. Water I don't see you later. Liquids out. Overall, I love the modern oh, design of these Don't worry ankle about boots. that. They are comfortable. Uh, you, you must have missed the memo, Evan. So, it's only... Let's see here. Oh, let's see. It's going to be 7 degrees tonight. Uh, so we're going to be about seven degrees tonight. It's going to be a high of 13 tomorrow during the day. Uh, then it's going to drop to a minus 12. Uh, with the wind chill, they said it's going to be about minus 45. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're wearing shoes. <laughs> uh, next week we'll be in the 40s. I'll be back in flip-flops. Don't worry about that. Uh, if you guys need some rain boots, short style, maybe the Planones are the ones for you. Uh, next up is the E7 headset. We're just going to show you guys the page real quick right here. 
Uh, this is the Arduino E7 Active Noise Canceling Headset. Comes in three colors. You have matte black, titanium black, and black. Uh, these are actually really nice headsets. 20 hours of playtime on a charge. Uh, memory foams. I believe these are the 50 millimeter drivers, if I remember right. Uh, touch button sensitivities with memory foam cups. Uh, these are actually, yes, this is the set I remember. Uh, so this set's actually really good. Now, you don't have to use it just wirelessly. Uh, you can connect up the 3.5 millimeter jack to this and use that. Now, with this, guys, they're all they're, they're a rounded sound, which is great. Do have built-in uh, microphones. Uh, it is a high-def sound, but they actually, these are really, really cool. Uh, I, I'm in New England. What do you, yeah, Robin, I'm in New England. Uh, pretty much is of the Arctic. Uh, when it's winter. <laughs> Have you not seen the videos and pictures of all the snow? <laughs> all right, story time. Uh, we'll pop over. So, uh, Robin has no clue what I deal with. So, we're going to pop up. We're going to go over here. Uh, Robin, <laughs> uh, you want some snow? Come on now, Robin. You want some snow? Oh, let's see here. You just want some snow, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's definitely I live in the Arctic. Hey, I'm still in shorts, guys. I am still in shorts. I only put on shoes because the Arctic weather kicked in and said we're going to have a wind chill. Uh, so, wearing some shoes, it's all good. It's not a bad thing. Uh, definitely, I, I'm still in flip-flops most of the time throughout, you know, whatever. I don't know. Uh, I've been here 10, a little over 10 years, and I'm like, I'm done. I'm over it. Next up, guys, this is the Anchor 521 Power Station. This is actually the last product in the show today. This is a cool piece. Game Jam today, we're taking a look at the Anchor 521 Power Station. This is just uh, like a big power bank, guys, that can power a whole bunch of stuff in the time of need, uh, which is quite cool, guys. Uh, you definitely can charge a MacBook Air up to four times off of this device. You can do uh, uh, six different device chargings off of this, of course. Um, you do have a uh, longer charging time or long you charge capabilities, guys, with this. This is quite, actually got some cool stuff. We're going to kind of talk about this. So That's with this funny. device, you can actually charge it a few different ways, uh, and we're going to get into that also. But you have, like, your household plugs. You have USB-C style plugs. You have your car plugs and all of that other cool stuff with this. Now I'm going to show you guys what comes in this kit. First, you have the power adapter to actually charge this. This is the power brick that will charge the device oh, like right there. You also get this cigarette lighter plug. The cigarette lighter plug is, allows you to charge this device in your car when you need or if you're on the go. Uh, you are then greeted with the uh, user manual. Of course, guys, if you need the user manual, it is right there. The user, the manual. Not really need it. But we got the device itself right here. Now, this is the actual device, the Anchor 521, uh, which is very cool. You have an LED lighting on the front. If I turn that on, it'll pop on. If I do that again, it'll pop on. If I hold it down, look at that. You have an LED light, guys. Lights. I love that. Uh, you do have a digital display screen. You guys can see right there. I'm show you guys the actual charge right that's on the device. She has a 65 degree charge. Now with this, you got the USB-C charging port, two USB uh, 3.1s. Uh, you have the dual house plugs and the cigarette lighter. So you could plug in a cigarette style uh, to use that. Maybe you want to plug in, like, a, I don't know, an air compressor to air up your uh, air mattress. You could do that. Uh, you could actually double charge this, guys, with the actual house plug and a USB-C plug. 
uh, which means it'll actually ch fully charge this in less than a, a one point one and a half hours, which is amazing uh, to have that option. Now, if you are wanting to know, you can ch uh, ch charge a uh, phone uh, about 16 and a half times, a laptop three and a half times. Uh, you can run a lamp for 27 hours or a fan for five and a half hours, depending on how much power it really takes out uh, with this, which is actually kind of cool. It does have the digital display. The digital display will tell you what you're using, what your indication level is. It is actually fully uh, waterproof, which is cool. You can use it outside, but, you know, be careful with that. Just going to say be careful. Now, this is a rugged drop protection, so it is protected to drop resistance with that. Uh, you do have the 60-watt USB-C PD output, uh, two AC outlets, uh, the Life PL4 battery pack built in, 200 watts, six-port powerhouse, guys. This is actually a cool, cool piece. Uh, nice and portable, not very heavy at all, and it's actually really nice. Uh, yes, you were definitely late to the party, buddy. Uh, this was actually an unscheduled uh, stream. Uh, so if you guys need, Anchor's got you covered right here, guys, with the Anchor 521. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, very cool piece, guys. Really nice piece right there. Now, with that being said, that's the last product of the day, guys. Uh, this was a uh, this was a random out of the blue stream. I was supposed to stream late tonight, but uh, Nate couldn't make it, so we filled in his slot. Uh, which isn't a bad deal. Now, with that being said, Robin, it's going to be in the 40s next week, so all that snow is probably going to melt. Uh, unfortunately, this year we did not ice out, which means all of our lakes still have water, uh, which is really weird because usually the lake up the street from me uh, usually has a very cool landing strip for airplanes on the ice and uh, usually can ice fish and can't do that this year. Uh, but up north, we do have the ice castles you can go visit. They do have ice castles. Hey, Jacob. Uh, so, guys, that's actually the last product of the day. Blew through those actually a lot quicker than I thought. But, hey, you know, that's where he goes. So. so, what's everybody doing? I'm thinking dinner now. Dinner's going to happen in a while. I have to pick my wife up in about an hour or so. Uh, definitely, I think I'm going out for dinner. Not going to tell the kid. I'm going to leave her home. Let her starve. Uh, what? She's an adult. She'll feed herself. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's still early. Still early. Ah, uh, so. Yeah, super late. Yeah, it happens, man. It happens. Uh, like I was just telling everybody else, uh, it was definitely a last-minute uh, random stream part thing. So it happened. Just happens that way sometimes. <laughs> so. Something like cave episode. No, all good, all good. Totally understood. So on that note, guys, I'm gonna bounce. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go get ready, take my wife out to dinner, possibly, and stuff like that. Uh, with that note, guys, I'll be back tomorrow morning with my daily stream. Hope you guys have a good one. See you guys all later.